All right, how's it going, guys? Thanks for tuning in again. Um, today, I just wanted to do a little episode about little tricks that Bob does on where to place chords. I've noticed something in the past couple weeks. Um, I had a lesson, and I pointed out to one of my students that Bob picks out the two slot a lot. So when you're playing, if you count one, two, three, four, most of the time, or not most of the time, but a lot of the times, you can hear him hitting in the two slot. I'm going to give you a bunch of examples right now. Um, first one that comes to mind is Road Jimmy. So I'm going to count four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One. See, I'm, I'm strumming on the I'm down strum on the two. One, three, four. So a lot of the time when you're when there's a little bop going on and Phil and Jerry kind of have their slots taken up, usually the two is open. So that's why I feel like Bob throws in that real quick in the road, Jimmy. Um, that's on the A, the intro. Two and the four. It's kind of like a. He focuses on the reggae because on reggae that's two and four. One two one two one two one two one two one two three four. So he's a lot of the time doing the two and the four. Uh, a lot of the time it's the two more than the four. Um, another example is Ramble on Rose. So when you're going, Jerry's going. Right there, it's on the two as well. One, two. Your name was one. Ramble on rows. One, two. Ramble on baby. One, two. Ramble down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. where it's like you strum the top and then you strum the chord. Bass is chord. Bass, chord. Boom, so you go boom. And the one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you're spending the one setting up the chord and then you strum. So those are two examples right there. Another one that comes to mind right off the bat is Loser. So when you... One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So when you're, when you're really emphasizing the, the strum down on the chord, of course he's doing the... All that in between. But when you do the chord is when it's um, a lot of the time it's on the two so you can see every every emphasis was on the two right there if you want to strum like that in a lot of songs you'll realize that's the bob slot in a lot of songs um so what's another one that comes to mind? Now he's gone a lot, a lot like Ramble on Rose. It's just an E. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two. So you can the big strum for me is on the two. One, two. on the two as well so one that little all 
these songs I'm running through, I have full lessons on as well, so you can go back on my channel and find all those to figure out what these licks are. I'm kind of just trying to give you an idea of the two slot when you're jamming, so. If you're jamming on like a, say you're just jamming on a regular, not a Grateful Dead song, and you want to just get the Bob feel, you can just go like. If you're just doing A, A, E, one, two. See, that's kind of like you hit you hit it and then you strum at the bottom so it's like the emphasis of the bass and then the bottom is the response he does that a lot Strum is the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two. See, it's like at the at the end of every as soon as you change, either the up strum or the down strum. slide up into it and then hit the chord a lot of the time when you're just jamming it can it's going to be an up strum but in the grateful dead songs guys i kind of just wanted to sprinkle that in um more of these to come as always thanks for watching